How we doing? How we doing? Welcome to the stream once again, Luke Tuesday. If you want to learn something, pull up in here. The thesis of what I want to accomplish today is how to turn great loops into great beats, which I do every Tuesday anyway. Today I have loops from Caden Bo Baden, Sammy Haig again. Sammy sends me stuff every week. Samuel on the beat and Chad XP. Is anyone I got loops from in the chat right now? Any of y'all in the chat? Which one of y'all? We are in here. I'm in here, Sammy. What's up? All right, we'll start with you. Turning great loops into great beats with Young Skirt. But we have four loops here from Sammy Haig. So let's check them out from Alphabetical Order. Let's go. Yeah. That's hard. You can't tell Sammy Haig plays horns. So next we got Riches to Red. I gotta hit that one. That one's going crazy. Uh! Yeah! That's the one right there. So we have all the stems here. Let's work with the stems piece by piece. Okay, that looks like the initial. It looks like the initial part. There's four parts to it. Let's see what's what. So what's this? That's more of like a chord extension to me. Um, and then I think this is gonna be the bass. Yep. So let's put the bass in next. My preferred uh, methodology for doing loops is uh, original sound that you're basing the format of the beat off of, then add the bass, then add something that adds chord structure, then add a lead. So let's see what this last thing is too. Okay, so I'll add a lead. Let's go. Bass. This is going to be a more like type shit. Wait. That's fire as fuck. So that'll go in the last bit. Nice. Now I don't think I really need to change it too much. Usually I flip it or pitch it. I might pitch it maybe. What's the bass? So that's the bass. I might go down four and see what it sounds like because it might sound crazy. Let us render out the loop. Mostly, if I had just arranged it and not added that little piece to it, I would just put parentheses, skirt, arrange. You know, like, I arranged it, but I didn't quite have any input on creating new musicality. But in this, I did. I added that little lead, so. Undone too. Bring it back. Put my little loop template on it. Give it some delay. Let's, let's let's turn down the delay though I think this is hard as hell so I'm gonna I'm gonna render it I'm gonna be honest it was funny yesterday I pulled up to the studio with literally all of my loops I was like yeah if you want to take like all 1100 of them there. You know, it's 16 gigs, but go off, you know, just grab them, do whatever you want with them. And, like, one of the loops from, I think, the day before 420, he pulled it up, and, like, he was like, damn, this one is crazy. And someone else in the room was like, damn, yeah, this this is fire. And I'm sitting there like, this is just another loop from another day two months ago. I don't know. <laughs> like, I really don't know what's good anymore. Like, it's crazy. Like, I know what I like, and I know what sounds good, but I don't know what's, like, the one, you know what I mean? Like, to me, like, they're all just like, I'm just like, oh, yeah, loops. Here is the flip 
which I am going to kind of like mitigate the delay that I just added on there by like making small silence points uh, in order to kind of give it some more space and give it a little more oomph when it comes in and put a little tail on there. Put the mastering on to make it loud. Take out the lows, kind of push the mids down a little bit. Get some more room for the vocals that may or may not happen at some point. Keep the bass like keep the bass active in the low mids, but take out the subs so that the 808 can do the work. Um, I want to kind of make it like a little more low frequency oriented. That's kind of like, a, I turn that into a, like a kick, but I want to add a... Drum choice can make a genre. We can kind of take it in so many different places by just changing the drum pattern. Like in the 100s, in the mid-tempo range, a very common genre there is reggaeton. So you can obviously do the reggaeton drum pattern, and we have... Or we can do it more rap beat based and then it becomes like a Detroit type beat. Or super halftime and it could be turned into like some R&B shit, you know, like. Drums is just genre. kind of the way I want to take it right there. Kind of give it some bounce. We'll let the hi-hats do the work in 17, you yeah. know? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to duplicate the drums, and I'm gonna have the high-pitched drums on one drum rack, and then the kicks on the other drum rack, so that we separate the low and the high frequencies. So this, th this I'm gonna take out all the lows. So it just acts like snares, hi-hats, percussions. That's good right there. Then add the perk back. Maybe I'll just do it with the 808. where we bring this I think we're good on this beat. 
So now what we're going to do, so pretty much we have the snare, we have the little perk, we have the hi-hat action, we have the 808s, we have the loop, pitch down. So now we're going to bring the loop over and pitch it down an octave for the verse. <laughs> Bring the 808s back in. Emperor D's Nutsius. Cut the 808s a little to give it some space in the last A bar. And then put the last the last eight bar repeating twice to give it some more emphasis for the last one. right there because there's some high notes. Nice. So let's get save emotes in the chat for that one. That's how you turn a great loop into a great beat. Give me save emotes real quick. All right, let me send this off. And then uh, Chad, you're in the chat second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam Will's in the chat. So I'm going to hit that one third. I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. Your loop is long, but you can cut it out by however. Damn. This is what I'm going to do. 50 bars. I'm going to cut it up. We have 18 extra bars. Chop them up in bars of two and kind of keep in mind where they are in the projection, which is, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, right? So for this one, I'm going to cut 17, put the first one in there, and I'm going to set the crossfade so that it'll fade into it. So it will get the same vibe, but it will fade into it. And then we'll do the same for this one. So that we can, like, you know, incorporate other pieces of the puzzle while also maintaining the original puzzle of the pieces. You know what I'm saying? The other way around. And that should be a very unique version of the loop. That was actually a new technique. I acted like I've done that before. I've never done this technique before. I usually just bring them in and like do half and half, but the crossfade is new. So you can't even really tell. But we're still getting all that stuff that was probably left out if we didn't, you know. Let me add a bass.
bass lines can do everything. So to me, drums make genre, but bass lines make emotion. If you keep a bass line like one note, it's just gonna be hard. If you do a one, two, three motion, and that motion, I don't know, I don't know what you would call it, but just being like da 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 da, and then on one of them going da da da, like that's a that's a really emotional champion like bass line. I wanna add another harp to it. How to goop great flutes with young scare for real. I wanted to go. I wanted to just go. I'm just creating the pattern here. What if it went like this? It wasn't. four pieces here. So we're going to render it here. the whole shebang to this and see what it sounds like with the delay and shit. Alright, that's the flippy. I like the flip on that. It's minus two. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good flip right there. That's a good flip. Just pitch it down too, put some effects on it. That'll give it some spatiality and some osteonoskarabansk. Sorry. Skerdskribers. And I am gonna cut those every two, I think. Silence is your best friend. Silence is your best friend to make shit smack. I almost want to do like a grime type thing, but like... When's the last time you thought this is the best I've ever made? Like every day. But I'm so used to it, it doesn't feel like it anymore. Like, like yesterday I made a couple beats that were really good. Speaking of drum kits, I got the Splice Moment Pack from last year. Still up. Still people finding out about it. I just found out the other day, since we released it, I think in like, like almost a year ago, 100,000 downloads. Not of the whole thing, just total credits spent on the skirt Splice Moment. 100,000 downloads. Yes. Let me get it 
right, let me get it right, let me get it right, let me get it right, let me get it. Hit it on the end. Let's go. Just gotta find all those goddamn triplets. Or is it 30 seconds? Nice. Nice, save emotes in the chat on that one. That one is good and done. Love that. Sam Will or Caden Bo Baden, are either of y'all in the chat right now? Sam Will is. All right, we're going Sam Will mode next. Got two more beats to do. Good hefty four piece. I need to do more four piece streams. All right, so let's get into it. Sam Will on a beat. Sam Will on a beat. Sam Will on a beat. That's crazy. That might be the one I do. <laughs> it's like evil villain walking around terrorizing the town. Just ah ah ah, boom! Just like kicking over shit. It's like ah ah, boom! Ah 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 ah, boom!
Alright, I'm gonna do Resurrect. That almost sounded cool too, but Resurrect is the one. Keep this swag right here. We should go down. Let's go down four. I did only those. Come on. No, not yet. We need to come in right with the... I'm modulating the low frequency peak right here so that it like kind of moves with the peaks of the sub bass so that it amplifies the right frequencies instead of like making it too overpowering. I did it without looking so. Do that every now and then.
like the way that kind of flinked out right there, that flanger banjo right there. Wait, I forgot to put this in there. I want that for sure. Reverse it. Major gas, thank you, thank you. Long time fam, please come to Brazil. Hell yeah, we coming to Brazil. Brazil has showed itself to be one of the most forward-thinking music locations in the world. And that'll be sick. Yo, what? Creepy crappy show with the five gifted pushing our weekly goal up. Creepy crappy show with the five. What do you, I, I, I have a stack of them in the other room. You want me to get it? I write down every sub and every raid. It's like a subscriber yearbook. Exactly. Also, if you didn't know, I do have a Patreon. If you want to listen to the beats that I make, let me save and render this one out with Sam Will on the beat. Wait, hold on a minute. Don't fool, fuck it up. Young Scar, fuck it up. Oh. I like that one. Praying Dad speed run? No, I'm not on that type of time. Does it have stems? All right, cool. Let's flip that. I like that one. I like that one. Solid. All right, but we do got to pull them back because mp3s are notorious for having a tiny bit of silence at the beginning of everything They are smaller in size, but they are going to have pre-delay. That's good. That's good. All right, let's render that I'm gonna try flipping it, but I don't think it needs to be flipped. I like the forward motion of it I like that. I like that. I like that. P man flip plus two. 
Grab the little tail. The mastering up. Nice. It's gonna sound real good. Nuts! Ah! No, I don't. I thought you were trying to get me. I'm not gonna lie. Save me modes in the chat as well. Cause that beat is done, ski.